Ani, this is your brother Arlo. You say hi, Arlo. I was 23 weeks pregnant. We went for a routine scan, so it's the anatomy scan. Arlo's got a complex heart problem. So he was born with a heart that was all scrambled and was uh, only had one main chamber. He was not too stressed when he was born. The first six days I had in the hospital with him at the women's were, were really good. Like he was pretty stable and I thought, oh, he's just quite calm, normal baby. I was so in denial about it. I was like, no, 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 because he hasn't gone home. I thought we would bring him home and he would just see his sister. And that didn't happen. The reality hit me. I fainted on the ward and they had to call the ambulance on me. It was such a shock. Because he has this right side of his heart that is not functioning and able to be used for the rest of his life, in, in essence, we have to perform a number of staged operations to gradually redirect the blood flow so that his heart circulation is able to cope. He then unfortunately had a complication of an infection, a significant infection down into his chest and needed a re-operation. And the family spent at least two months in hospital after he was born. And that, that is extremely challenging for families. Arlo was not able to be picked up. He was bedridden pretty much the whole time. So it really delayed his recovery. He was not gaining weight adequately and, and as you're trying to recover from heart surgery, it's really important to have adequate weight. When he woke up that morning, he was really, really distressed. He was literally dying. The other thing was that he really developed terrible anxiety about staff. When we were going into the hospital, he would get triggered by people in scrubs. He has turned into a little boy who's got no anxiety about strangers at all. He's really confident. He interacts beautifully with everyone. I'm grateful that I can have that kind of care for my son. He's doing really well. He's doing, like, he's thriving. He's thriving. Arlo still has a bit ahead of him and he's, he's gonna need at least one more heart operation and a major one. What we want to do is, is enable these children to live the best and the fullest life that they could possibly lead. Not only am I hopeful for Arlo, I'm confident that he's going to have a great life ahead. <laughs>